quick video as I'm applying drippy slip to this tumbler. But what I've done differently is, I'll put a picture of this because I'm not sure how well it will appear in the video. But um, I'm currently still playing around with the uh, sprinkles glaze. So this one will be ready for Valentine's, which is, you know, it's a pink and purpley spotty glaze. And I've got a previous video about it, which I'll link to. Um, but basically what it is, it's sintered chunks of one glaze. So you crush a glaze up and put it through a bisque firing, which is very similar to how you bisque clay in that it sets the glaze so that the glaze can't then turn back into a liquid glaze. Um, so this, the chunks stay like bisque clay. You add water to it, it doesn't turn back into clay. It's now ceramic. Same applies to sintered chunks of um, glaze. Uh, that's got you know, some pink base with white and darker pink speckles. Well, this is using the cobalt speckles I used in previous versions of this glaze. I had a white and blue spotty glaze but these are in the clay itself and I sieved them so they're less than 80 mesh size, well, possibly even less than 60, I can't remember. Anyway, point being that they're small, they're not that small, but they're small enough that they're sort of like grog. So essentially what I've made is clay, uh, sorry, glaze grog that um, will color the clay with whatever the colorants in the uh, glaze are, so long as they work like if it's something like a chrome tin you'll probably lose that but meaning I've got a blue speckle clay basically and in here I have blue speckle slip so I've done the same thing using porcelain slip just so that it's a bright white um, and I've marbled in a couple of other colors of blue slip as well just so it's not purely spotty I wanted something to break it up slightly but um, Yeah, so I just chucked a handful of the sieved um, cobalt dust into porcelain. And the nice thing with this is, and someone asked on Instagram, isn't cobalt in clay toxic? But the good thing is this is actually only, I have to check back on my notes, I think I use 1%, maybe I use slightly more than that, but it's not a lot of cobalt because it's in a glaze it's very diluted um, so it's not pure cobalt or anywhere close to it but also it's because it's sintered into the glaze it's locked in so even if you would have uh, a reaction to cobalt in clay which I know some people have said they've mixed it in and then their skin's gone pretty terrible after long periods in contact with it even if that's the case this this um, cobalt grog essentially won't do that because it's trapped within the glaze so hopefully um, what this will do is this will give me little blue specks wherever the um, speckly porcelain is but um, I will rush this through the kiln so this will be out in a few days I might post the video now and do a follow up uh, just in case anyone else wants to play with it but also because I'm quite intrigued with the concept and I want to see what everyone's thoughts are I mean you know, you'll see it soon enough either way but um, yeah hopefully I'll have fired results for you shortly and I have very high hopes for this and I meant to say the other reason that I might post this sooner is because, well, it's, it's Thursday today, um, I'm going to do the last shop up, last limited edition shop update before Christmas, hopefully this weekend, if I can get around to photographing everything today. Um, I've got a selection of pieces, including some new glazes that uh, haven't been seen before that I'm still mucking around with. But what I'm also going to do is, I don't know if you can see the shelves so clearly in this video, but they're getting empty and what I'm trying to do is especially since I'm moving away from the KGM clay I'm trying to just glaze everything and then if it works great and if it doesn't um, whatever I'll just bit them what that means is that I've got lots of um, just standard designs I've got the pieces that were kicking around the studio 
I'm going to do a Lucky Dip mug purchasing thing. So rather than picking a specific mug and buying that one, um, and me having to photograph and upload every single mug, I'm just going to say, you know, I've got, I guess, 30, 40 mugs. Um, and I'll do them cheaper so I don't have to upload them. But it saves me time and then everyone gets cheaper mugs. Um, and yeah, I'll do that. So if you've got a mug specifically that you want, there will be limited edition shop update. Um, the actual shop is going to go live again, probably not until the new year, just so I don't have to think about orders over Christmas. Because even if I said to everyone that I wasn't going to fulfil them, they'd still sit in the back of my mind. So I'll have a much more relaxing Christmas if the shop isn't on. So um, I might wait. But either way, the shop will be coming back soon for made-to-order pieces. The limited edition shop will be soon, and there will be a Lucky Dip mug, and possibly bowls as well, because I've got a few of them kicking around. So if you want a cheaper piece, um, and you're not really specific about which one of the many designs you want, um, then that will be the way to go. Just because I've got one here. So this is from the pile of mugs that will be included. You've got things like Pebble. This is on one of the white clothes I was experimenting with. Uh, this is, I really like this colourway. So this is drippy slippy, but the regular colours with the dark clay. Um, looks very 70s as far as I'm concerned. It's sort of that teal and um, brown go really nicely together. But it's a slightly different colour to normal, but I really like that one. Then there'll be dark clay spare ones like peacock eye um try and get this so you can see the design but yeah there's just going to be a real mix of stuff um lots of stamped ones some in standard colors some in um experimental but just my regular work plus a few experiments um and i'll probably do it so that if you specify a design I'll do my best to get you one in that style if there is one but um, otherwise just luck of the draw I'll pick one for you they're all perfectly fine mugs That's nothing wrong with them I'm not selling any seconds these aren't seconds um, they're just looking at a pile of mugs I can't be bothered to photograph them all so save me the effort and you get a cheaper mug for it